y'all what's up welcome back to my channel i'm so glad you guys decided to join me again today i got a haul i got a haul i haven't done a haul on my channel since like i don't know it's been a long ass time so i figured i might as well come and show y'all what i got so i think it, now it's time since i've upgraded my makeup game i think now it's time to show y'all like what i got popping so if you're interested stay tuned got two things from mac the first thing that i got was the mac studio scope spf uh 15 foundation y'all probably gonna kill me because <laughs> i did a review on this foundation already and i said it was just it was just okay but I really, really, really have to be honest with y'all. I cannot find any other foundation that has a finish like this one. The finish on it is just absolutely beautiful. I must admit, by the end of the day, I do tend to get oily, especially in my T-zone, which you guys will see in that video if you watched it. If you haven't, I'll link it down below. But I do tend to get oily, but with a good primer... This is light. Next from MAC, I just got the Studio Finish Concealer with SPF. I got mine in the color NW40. And it, this one has a um an orange undertone. I used it today. I used it to um color correct. Like I said, because it does have that orange undertone. And I also use it to conceal under my brows. This concealer, it has the consistency of the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. Um, but you get far more product. I do like that, and I have saw some um, other girls talk about this. I'm probably the last one on the bandwagon to get this, but I saw some other girls talk about this, and they said that they've had it for up to about two years, but my thing is like, bitch, how long, how many times do you use it to have it for two years? Because if you're wearing makeup on a consistent basis, like, there's no way I have this thing for two years. My next stop was Ulta. The first thing are um, these Eyelore lashes. I got the dramatic kind, but this is what they look like on. They are very, very cute and flirty, and I think they drink, they bring a dramatic look to any eye look. Like, you can wear these without any eyeshadow, and they'll just really make your eyes pop. So, I really did like these. Next one, the one of the representatives there saw I was looking at... Um, Looking at the eyelashes, and she recommended that I get the Duo Glue. This is my first time ever using the Duo Glue. I've heard a lot about it. I just never picked it up for whatever reason. But I'm really glad I did pick it up because I was using the Revlon Precision. Um, mine looks gross. I was using the Revlon Precision Clear um, Glue. I hate this stuff. I hate it. I don't know who I was. I don't know who I was watching that recommended it. I think it was Rosita Applebaum. I think she loves that stuff. And I tried it because of her. That stuff is terrible. I don't know if it's because I got the clear formula or what, but it doesn't get tacky. And when I apply my lashes, it still leaves a clear or white residue. Well, it's not clear because you can see it. It still leaves like a white residue on my lashes. So I really, really do not like that, um, that uh, glue. So I went with the Duo glue instead. This one is really good. It gets tacky really quick. So I don't have to use my ghetto hair glue no more. <laughs> but this one is really good. Um, and it gets tacky and it sticks and it makes my lashes last all day. So yeah, I'm really glad that I got this one. And next from Ulta, I got the NYX Vivid Bright um, Liquid Eyeliner. I was in there and I was just looking around and I happened to look over and I was like, bitch, what's that? And it was liquid eyeliner. I was like, oh my god. Like, I have to get it. And I got mine in Halo, Vivid Halo. And when I tell y'all, this stuff is so bright. Like, look at that. It is extremely... Do you see that? It is, like, extremely freaking... What's the word I'm looking for? When it's super bright? Um... Some with a P. It starts with a P. I don't know. I can't think of the word right now. But it is like extremely freaking bright. Like, do you see that? I have it on today. If you guys are interested, I have a makeup look on um on this look. So um if it's not posted before this video, I have a link later on. Um or you'll see it. You'll see the video, okay? <laughs> it's not posted. You'll see it soon. But I got this NYX Vivid Brights, and it is, like, bomb. Like, I had to learn how to get my liquid eyeliner, like, extra fleeky. Like, I'm talking about Queenie Rose and Black fleeky. Like, when she do it, it's like, bitch, you know she came this like I'm just learning how to do my uh, winged eyeliner. It's okay, but, like, I need it to be to my temple slave. And lastly, I hit up Sephora. I'll start off 
with um what caught my attention uh first when i was at or did i get this from ulta no i got this from ulta too i went to um from ulta i also got the lorac um take me to tantago or tan tantalizer whatever it's called i got the tantalizer bronzer palette and um it looks like this when you open it up i was just like blown away like do you see those colors popping like I, one thing i do wish about this palette though is i do wish that the colors were a bit darker uh for my skin tone they just kind of um they really do bronze my skin but i like it to give me that bronze that i need in my soul like no complaints about it besides i wish the colors were a bit darker um if you're lighter than me this will be like a godsend for you but any darker i wouldn't even waste my time with it next from sephora i got the anastasia glow kit and i got mine in gleam if you guys have not seen this already this is what it looks like i really 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 wanted the gold one i think that one is in all that glow or glow or some something like that glow something i really wanted that one but they didn't have it in stock at the location i was at so i just went with the gleam palette i'm i'm happy either way because i think they're both very 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 beautiful palettes but i really do have to still get that glow palette because the gleam one um it has a lot of pink undertones and i don't like that at all for the most part i just it's just okay to me like the product itself is lit like it's bomb but the colors i'm not the biggest fan of because all of them have like that kind of pink undertone to it i picked up the makeup forever hd def high definition powder and i got mine in the translucent color uh this is what the packaging looks like once you open it up it just looks like that and then on the inside it's just white i do not recommend this shit. this is absolutely terrible this is horrible now if you are of a lighter skin tone this may be a godsend but for me this was terrible bitch the formula is like no other it is so smooth and creamy and it's just so velvety like it's something it's like a powder i never ever felt before and it's so smooth and luxurious but it has major fallout like i tried to apply this with both a brush and my beauty blender and it fell like all down my face i've tried applying this powder with both a um powder brush and with my beauty blender it does not work for either um, I tried setting under my eye and it fell all down my chest. The fallout is ridiculous. The flashback is ridiculous. I don't know if it's just on my skin tone because I'm darker or what. But this is absolutely terrible. Do not get this powder if you are my skin tone or darker. If I could get this finished in another powder, please let me know. Because it's like so smooth and luxurious. Like I swear to you, it's like nothing I've ever felt before. Next, I got the NARS Concealer. This one is in the matte finish. And I got mine in medium dark caramel. It looks like that. And when you open it, it just looks like this. Now, I must say I do like uh, this concealer. But um, it's definitely comparable Some to some of the lower end ones that i can find you don't get much product in here at all and you pay about 25 dollars. i think i paid for it yeah and it's 25 dollars, and you only get this much like this will be gone in a week with me as much as i highlight this will be gone in one week i'm never ever ever gonna purchase this thing ever again so it's good for what it is but it's just far too less product and then lastly from sephora i got the nars sheer glow foundation i'm probably the last one to ever ever get this foundation but um i got color matched in the store and to me it seemed as though this color was like too light for my skin tone like this was katie perry skin tone like it's no way this could have been my skin tone but after i applied it and it kind of oxidized um it matched me perfectly it's what i have on today <clears throat> i did forget to put on my um my primer so i was kind of scared um and how the foundation will wear throughout the day but for the most part it's been doing just okay um it is sheer it's not a full coverage foundation but it is definitely buildable um i never apply more than one coat of foundation just because i don't want to look cakey like i <sighs> I just don't want to look cakey, so I never add more than one coat of foundation. But for the most part, this is good for what it is. This one was 
This one had a nice $45 price tag. Would I purchase this again? Absolutely not. I don't I don't think it's worth it. It gives you a nice luminous finish, but it's just not. I just don't think it's worth it. I can find so much, so many better foundations than one that costs $45. So I just, I probably wouldn't purchase this one again. I don't know how it wears with the primer. Um, I'm truly getting a test of it on its own. It's leaving me very dewy looking and I'm starting to um, see a lot of my oils peek out around my nose. I've only had it on so far for about an hour and a half and I'm really starting to get oily. So probably with my backup matte primer, it'll do its job and you know wear a lot better but on its own absolutely not and i definitely don't see myself purchasing this again but that's just my opinion okay so that was my haul i really hope you guys enjoyed i hope you found it helpful if you like these type of videos feel free to leave your comments down below in the comment section i'll definitely show more stuff that i buy and um yeah i think that's about it so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see y'all later peace out bye